rain caused big problems in the battle to clean up an oil spill in Hampton. Last night's storm caused water and streams to rise, pushing the oil over booms set in place to absorb it. The spill happened on Sunday on Minji Drive. Investigators say a tank holding about 3,000 gallons of used motor oil rusted out and the oil poured from the container. Ten on your side's Katie Collette spoke with cleanup crews and residents. Katie? Stephanie and Nicole, a resident emailed us saying he's worried about the marshes that are now covered in oil. He's also worried about how this will affect the wildlife. So we took his concerns directly to the crew in charge of the cleanup and the Department of Environmental Quality. Marshes and waterways sprawl through the Powhatan Park area of Hampton. But today, when you take a closer look, you see what has residents talking. We have geese out there. We have turtles and all this in the water, and I kind of worry about them. Newmarket Creek, one of the waterways affected by Sunday's oil spill about a mile away. Right there, down there. Cleanup crews with LCM services scrambling to get ahead of the oil again after last night's rain. Prior to that, we had uh, a lot of the uh, oil soaked up. We've had back trucks. It really looked pretty good. But now... The spill now is farther down. Everything we had in was washed out. Larry Logan is LCM's emergency response director. His company helped with cleanup in Louisiana after the BP oil spill. He's taking lessons learned there and applying them to the Hampton incident, especially where marshes are concerned. Marshes are are extremely important to us and they'll cleanse themselves. Mm -hmm. And if we go mess with them, then we'll dig it, you know, we'll, we'll mess up the roots and that can hurt that. LCM teamed up with the DEQ to figure out the best way to attack the oil and keep the environment safe. DEQ investigator John Settle tells me something helpful in this case is the petroleum was a waste oil, had already been used. So a lot of the harmful elements, the surfactants that are made up in petroleum, had already been gone. Now Settle does not believe the oil will reach the bay or even in the James River, especially with crews working day and night to stop the flow. Yeah, as far as handling it, we can handle it. It just takes time. Settle tells me no animal has been affected by the oil yet, and he says he does not believe wildlife will be impacted. He also says he anticipates the oil will head toward the marshes, then evaporate within a day or two. Katie Collette, 10 on your side. A Hampton Fire spokesperson says the company responsible for the spill pays for the contractor and all the cleanup equipment caused or used by the city. He says the company cooperated from the moment the leak happened.